be, in fact, that I wanted to play the gayest game I could before I had to go later. Um, I normally would be at Justin's right now, but he had to go to a fundraiser, so I figured that I might as well get in a stream and do another chapter or two before I have to leave in a few hours. So let's do that. Like, I'm down, right? Hey, I have a question. Um, if you could listen to any map theme in Fire Emblem right now for about 10 minutes extended, which would it be? Final engage, a light storm from Fates. Damn. A light storm was first. Okay. A light storm. You know what? We should do the mix. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah. Because I do love Radiant Dawn. I do. I promise you, I do. Okay, if I can turn off the music, how do I do that? Um, how do I do that? Uh, how do I do it? Wait, I know what to do. Okay, I don't know what to do. How do I get rid of it? Condition, map menu, Z. Like this. You reset the game and then you load it. There we go. Okay, I love Path of Radiance, but like the two songs you're all like, I know, I know going back when I played Sacred Stones, there were a couple, there were a couple map themes, but I'm telling you, we could we could we could go for a couple more themes in this game. That 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 is a criticism that I have. That I'm like, okay, can we get some? Can we get some new tunes? Like, <laughs> Fodlin wins. You know, I'm actually kind of down for that. I'm actually kind of down for that, Loki. Okay. Also, let me see what I have to do. I gotta go over here. Uh. Okay, that works for me. No Fodlin wins. Why not? I thought we loved Fodlin wins. We need Edge of Dawn. You know, I'd be down for some Edge of Dawn, honestly, too. That, too. Shattering a star. Not about to do either. Ooh. Actually, yeah, no, not, not about to do either. Hmm. I mean, what should I do? Should I just take everyone and go? Because here's my thing I never like splitting up maps I, ever. When they're like, I'm going to take some units and put them on the left side, I'm going to take some units and put them on the right side. To be honest, the units on the left, on the right, tend to go to the left anyway, like the enemy units. So I never feel like splitting my team up does anything. Except makes it like so. I wish that I had a unit with me that I don't have. And plus, since I only have missed, then it's probably better that I just all go one way. Can you rescue? Um, can you rescue horses? No, you can't. Damn. Oh, I'm doing good. Oh, I'm doing great. I'd be even greater if I saw how much damage this guy did. Okay, so 21 damage. How much defense you got, girl? Seven. 
7 minus 21 is 14. So I'll take 14 damage. I gotta give her a. Uh, I gotta forge her a bow as well. That'd be really, really good. Oh, how gallant! Ah, uh, tough bitch, but my ass soft. They said I look like a painting by Van Gogh. You know, a girl like me, Post, ain't got to talk too much. Mm -hmm. but you know what's up? Pretty bitch, chocolate, like some to say, and I stay on his mind like a toothache. I don't really worry about getting too deep. Does he really know how to work that machine? Mm, mm. Thank you so much to the uh, to pasta for the um, for the free lyrics. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure, isn't it? You wanted music. I wanted music, not whatever that is. But thank you. Damn. Oh my god. Soren? Okay. Rap Black. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I can rescue, right? Should I? Yeah, I can. Oh, not shove. Oh. Well, he'll be fine. Give. I know. I meant to give. I meant to give. I meant to give. My bad. Oh, Rolf? <gasps> Wait. Okay. We're almost there. Son Wait, somebody said Sonic Blade is B, right? Ugh. I guess I'll get there then. Ugh. Rochelle Dolaisol? What is that? I don't know who that is. Don't you have to give that greedy bitch two weapon scrolls? One. She's getting one. I am not going to waste two on her. That's crazy. There's absolutely no need for that. That's gluttonous. That's gluttonous. Wait, what's the issue? <clears throat> what terrible luck. My sixth sense told me that today, the weather would be nice today. Hey, grumbling and whining won't pay off your debt. Come on, beautiful. Cough up my gold. I dearly love to pay you, but unfortunately I'm broke. Not again. You're employed as a bodyguard. Why don't you have enough gold to pay me back? Ugh, when we get back to base, I'll get what's mine. Try to run, and you'll pay in pain. Certainly all you like. I can't have... I can't give you what I don't have. Oh dear, what am I going to do? It seems I must go crying back to my dear sister once again. Oh, she's going to be mad. But in the end, I'm sure she'll help. After all, it's for the life of her brother. All right, tonight I pay a little visit to the barracks of the sacred Pegasus Knights. Is that my hand? This is supposed to be a fog of war map? Oh, well, I see perfectly fine. So. Oh my god! Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Who is this? Khalil? Hello? Oh, bruh. <laughs> oh, please. I, I am. Mm. Okay. Alina, who? 
Is that Taylor Swift? Don't, don't, don't do her like that. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> oh, bother. Buying all these things is well and good, but I simply can't carry it all. And where is Largo? He lives me in this backwater burg and wanders off to good goddess knows where. Hello. Oh, you there. Today's your lucky day. You've arrived at just the right time. I have something nice to give you. I just got back from a shopping spree and I got this as a free bonus of sorts. Oh, please, no need to thank me. When you're a sophisticated like me, when you're yeah. a sophisticate like me, you never want for trinkets or men for that matter. All the men to the back. Immediately. Immediately. Oop. Well, toodaloo then. Be sure to treasure that for the rest of your days. Now, which way to the nearest city? Sphere dust. Nice. Okay, sphere dust. Now, who gets this? Um. Speed wing, uh, that was, oh, that should have went to Oscar. Holy shit. Okay, so Oscar needs the, the magic spear dust. I mean, I guess that just goes to Soren, I guess, since there's literally no other options. Wait, is Callie a unit that I can have? Don't tell me. Is she? Don't tell me. Let me see it. Okay, she's serious. Okay. Apparently, this is only a far ho wait fog of war on hard mode, but I'm in maniac mode. Lagoon's lamp. Uh oh. Miss, you can't double a fucking big fat bandit man? What? Oh, maybe it is, cause what the fuck? How slow are you, bitch? Damn, what? What is this? Why is the weapon called Chloe? Because she's fucking broken. <laughs> because she's broken. She's literally just Chloe incarnate. She's got the boots I would have given her. She's got she's got the speed. She's got the skills. She's got the strength. She's my best unit by far and away. She's 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 just Chloe. I kind of miss Falcon Knight a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna. God, Soren, you're so fast, dude. Holy shit, Sonic the Hedgehog? What the fuck? Maybe I didn't even need to oop, give him that uh, speed wing, by the way. Uh, yeah, the speed wing that I got earlier. Maybe I didn't even need to give it to him.
Okay, seriously? What's going on? These hit rates? This is just enough damage? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Wait, what? Was that Astra? What was that? Oh, I dabbed. Okay. Well, I still have this one right here. You are fast enough? That's a Myrmidon, is it not? How am I outspeeding a Myrmidon? Wait, what? What do you mean double? How am I doubling him? Is the weapon weighing him down? Nine strength, 15 weight. So that means his speed is going down by six, right? Oh, okay. I was like, what the heck? Okay. Can dogs? Can dogs? Can, uh, can Lagoos rescue people as well? I know they can smite, but can they, uh, Push and smite, but can they, uh, yeah, can they rescue people? Okay, I'm over this song. I'm good. Final engage. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'll at least get the experience points first. It's tough being a mercenary for hire. I don't like having to do this, but I must pay off my debt. Or my sister will have my head. Thousand years ago. Shaking up a hazy dream. Brother? Hey, Marcia. It's been a long time, huh? Good timing, though. I was just thinking about paying you a visit to this. Long time. Long time. You dung heel. Where have you been? Where, where in the name of heaven have you been? You racked up all that debt and then ran away? You're such an irresponsible skunk. Thanks to your worthless hide, I have to leave the sacred Pegasus Knights. Huh? But why? Because there were a bunch of debt collectors hanging around the barracks. That's why. Oh, that's... It's a shame. Listen, I was trying I was trying to increase the money I borrowed to pay out the original, but it um vanished. And I swear that it just kept happening. It almost I almost got enough and then poof, gone. <clears throat> you rat. You cheese eating rat. You haven't changed at all. Let's go, you're coming with me. With you? Where are we going? What are we gonna do? You're joining my company. And I'm going to let Ike be some sense into you. We'll see how that works. No, wait. I'm working for these guys in a moment, and... What, but this joined up with the other side. It might cause problems. Stop it, sponge brain. No more lame excuses. Follow me. Now. Sorry, sis. Damn. Okay. 
Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, shitty bases from what I'm seeing. Oh my god. But he is a horse. Okay, let's see what we got here. 60 HP, 55 strength, 45 skill, 50 H. Oh, ooh. 50 speed, 55 strength, 45 skill, 60 HP. It's actually not bad. His defense is 45 too. Huh. These gross actually aren't bad. Messi doesn't like him, so we don't use them. I agree. I do like the pink hair though. How do you even get into that? What happened? Eh? Did you say cattle? A battle? Stranger? What? Oh, danger! Goodness, what am I to do? Oh, maybe this will help, theory. It was just lying around here collecting dust. Just like me. Never a visitor. Anyway, I don't know what it does, but it's pretty. If I gave it to my grandkids, they might write once in a while. Here, take it! Now do me a favor and protect my house, alright? No, my house! A mouse? Where? Advantage. Why does she sound like Ace beating chat? Shut up. Fine, I'll let some go down the middle. It's okay. I don't even know if I really want to use to here. I mean, he's pretty, but I kind of feel like... Why would I want a, a grounded sword unit that's not Ike? You know what I mean? I feel like I'd want one with flying. I feel like I'd want one with... Uh, with uh, something unique, class-wise. Otherwise, it's just going to be, like, worse Ike. So I don't know what value this provides. I think he's actually kind of useless to me at the moment, unfortunately. I guess the only difference is that, like, I could actually use him and not have to worry about being capped out. So, that's probably what the issue is. Okay, this is, I'm gonna be honest, this is probably my favorite final map theme. No. No, it's probably Echoes. I actually don't, I, 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 I go back and forth between uh, Echoes, or Echoes, um, between Fates. It's so serious. I mean, it is, but like, I don't know. He's cool, blue and hard today. Love you, Ace. Thank you so much to Camry. Thank you for the 91. Holy shit. Thank you, bitch. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I've been doing well, by the way. Do you have nine? How much attack do you have? 22? Mm. But are you gonna hit me though? I don't think he's gonna hit me. Oh, he's. Yeah. Oh, you're doing it! Wait! He's almost there! Rolf, you're doing it! Oh, you're. You're doing it! 
Yeah, you're doing it. You're almost there. Like, you just you need a little bit more. He needs, like, one more strength and maybe one more speed, and he'll be perfect. What cheating? If I'm gonna be honest with you, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Here's my hot take. Luck is a better stat than res. I found this in a river, but my mom said it was dirty and I had to throw it away. Do you want it? Really? All right, you can have it. Please take care of it. A book? Thank you. I just think res is just... There's hardly any magic units anyway. And the ones that you do find are just turbo squishy. So, to be honest with me, I'm just like, just have HP. And then one-shot it. You know what I mean? You had hello fresh code. I I had one, uh, but no, you don't do it now. Okay, I'll get them back. I'll get them back. But once I get it again, please, you've got to because I'm telling you, it's just mm. it's so good. And what about those status staves? Well, I'm not seeing any, so object permanence. It's not there. Doesn't exist. Oh, she's serious. Yeah, she's serious. She wants to get in there. Yeah, she wants to she wants to get on the battlefield. She wants to fight. She wants to be useful. Shout out to us. I still think about her saying, I'm feeling pretty useful today. As opposed to, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling kind of useless today. <laughs> I still think about it. I still think about it. I'm just like, what did you mean by that? <laughs> oh, I guess you just didn't want to. Okay. Wasn't Paula the best of the three in uh, in Echoes? I think she was. And then I think it was Katria, and then I think Est was not worth it. I think that's what it was. I wanted it to be Katria. I wanted Katria to be the best, but I don't think she was. I think it was Paula, and then I think it was Katria, and then I think it was Est. Hi, Cardinal. Okay, so let's see. Eight damage, so I need to get you down to at least... Sixteen? Okay. How much speed do you have? Eleven? Fourteen? Is that enough? Fourteen plus... Eight is twenty-two. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I was just so over Paula. I'm like, please. But I will say, Paula kind of won in the three houses. The three houses. The Fire Emblem Heroes art. She kind of won. She was kind of doing it. Oh, nice. Very good art. Very good art. Very good art. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Ralph, you're almost there, sweetie. Catcher got the best art of the Echoes version. In the Echoes versions. I think, I think, pa I, I really like Paula's a lot. S t takes the L, unfortunately, but I really, I really like Paula's. I don't love Paula. I actually don't like her at all, but I don't like her because she reminds me of my own sister. And I'm kind of like, hmm. Very doty, very like, I got to take care of you. It's my job. Like, girl, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Please. How dare she be an older sister? She's my older sister, not my mom. Okay. I'm talking about Paula. So am I. Get the fuck out of my way. You know, unfortunately, uh, Gaytree is just better than Brom or than Broom uh, all around. He just has every stat that's relevant. Like Broom has 60 HP, Gaytree has 65 HP. Broom has 50 strength, Gaytree has 55 strength. Broom has 40 uh, skill, Gaytree has 45 skill. Like every relevant stat, like uh, Gaytree just has five more in. So technically, he's just better. To be honest with you, I don't care because I don't like Gaytree, so. <laughs> Red looking too. You are just, you know. Yeah, they just do the same thing. It's fine. Look at this bow. Steel axe. Okay, wait. We can use killer bows now, sweetie. Okay, wait, let me see. To be honest, I've been meaning to do this for a while now. I need to do that crit animation actually. Cause I wanna see if it's like uh like how it was in the GBA games. By far, by far one of my favorite uh uh one of my favorite um crit animations in that game. It was Sage and then Archer was definitely afterwards where it's just like Bitch <laughs> Love it. I love the song so much. Oof. The fact that this song plays and engage when you're fighting against Lumera is what, it, okay, okay. I used to like it, but then I liked it more when I went back and I played through the game again. And this is like the enemy phase theme that plays when you're fighting against Lumera. And so the fact that it's just like that all over again is is just like my favorite thing. It's like an echo of her memory. Almost kind of like a, work, a requiem a little bit to her. It's really sweet. I like it a lot. Kind of like a memory of your mom kind of kind of song to me. I really like it a lot. It's really cool. 
Oh, I love Lumera too. I don't like that she's dead. She's the, okay, to be honest with you, <laughs> maybe it's just because of the VA, but ooh, I really like Lumera. Ooh, I'm really not happy she's not, a, she's, she's, she, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, I don't. I like her being around. I'm sad that she's not. Like, I don't know. As goofy as Lair looks, someone said the blue one in Lair's hair reminds her, is a reminder of Lumera's love, and that really got me. That she like stays with him. There are some games where having low res is a really bad thing, but there's not really any game where luck is a make or break by any means. That's fair. It's kind of telling when most common veins, the most common games. Go, yeah, I mean, I guess that's fair. I guess it also depends on the game too, right? Because if luck just affects... Okay, if luck is solely affecting crit dodge, then I think it fucking sucks. Because who cares, right? Like, I mean, okay, you do care, but it's not like I seriously need to have enough luck to, uh, no. Like, as long as you don't have IV levels of luck, I think it's fine. But when it affects crit and hit rate, to me, that's like, if luck is going to affect avoid rate and crit and hit rate, depending on the game, then on average, unless you're fighting a fuck ton of mages, it's going to be more applicable than res is because res is only applicable when dealing with offensive staves and mages, right? And you're gonna have some units that don't even wanna fucking deal with mages because it's not their role to do so, or you're just gonna position around the mages on enemy phase. So it's very conditional on whether or not you're going to be attacked, right? Whereas luck, depending on the game, it's either conditional if you're going to be attacked, but it also has offensive calculation as well. So you as the player will utilize your luck more often than I feel like you utilize your res. So I think on average, depending on the game, I think it does have, it, it does notch up just a little bit more uh, in terms of like how much you're utilizing the stat. You know what I mean? Like you're always using speed, right? And you're always using H, well, okay. You are always using speed both on player phase and on enemy phase, right? If you're being attacking, if you're being attacked or if you're defending. So you're always using speed. You're always using attack and magic, strength and magic. Defense is only useful against physical attacks. Res is only useful against magic attacks. Let's see. Skill is always used. What else is always used? That's it, right? And then luck, right? Depending on the game. I'd be catching a stray. <laughs> if it's only crit avoid, it's fucking sucks. Like that, that, that's my thing. But when in the games that it affects crit, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Are you poison, sweetie? Okay. Okay, seriously?
she's still getting so much experience. It's it's actually kind of crazy. I, it's like it's like her exp fall off has not happened at all. It, it's kind of insane. I wonder if Ralph can hit twenty. What is difficulty adjust in this game? Do you know? Are you McAuliffe Stein? Uh, McAuliffe? No, he fucking sucks. But I do like his visual a lot. One of my favorite character designs is bushy hair like this. What they very easily could have done also He's had his hair cover his eyes. That is absolutely one of my favorite visual, uh, like, character designs. It, it is, it just, it slays me. It's so good. Okay, so, this, you need to get over here. Well, that's my good. I understand the reaction now. I get it. I appreciate the stealth usage. Yeah, he's probably just fucking not good. Or worse than Volk in every way. But it's okay. I like projects. Oh, damn. Okay. It's okay. I think, at the very least, even if, even if Soth is bad combat-wise, at least he has utility. At least he has niche. You know, that's nice. Since I can't open up the convoy and just get keys out, it, it'll be valuable to have units that can um, open up things. So that's good. Although conditional. <laughs> It's magic, bro. What the fuck? Uh, close. Ooh. To be honest, I actually wouldn't have minded if he died. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Just 
Strength, speed, luck. Okay. So they just won't come over here and they can kill them. What do you do to deserve that? Oh, nothing. Not, nothing at all. I wonder who's tankier. 43 HP, 38 HP, 13 defense, 13 defense. Wait, so this is... Oh, so she's just better than Titania now, right? Yeah, she's just flat out better now. Five more speed, two more luck, more res, <sighs> five more skill. Yeah, okay. So I wanted to tank. I could just... If I recognize this now. It's bad that I don't like it. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like it. Ah! Ah! Sorry! <laughs> I just don't. Uh, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Hello, can we? Hey, you, why don't you lay down your weapons and walk out of here with your lives? You can pause share as much as you want, but there's no way you can beat us. Shut it. I don't know why you're here, but if we lose our cargo, we lose everything. It ain't happening. Well, in that case, we have no choice. You receive no mercy from us. Are we still just gonna fucking stand here or what? Okay, seriously? Okay, okay, but seriously? Okay, okay, seriously? Hold on.
Okay, but seriously? Okay, but seriously? The way she went off. Okay, I don't know why I didn't pick up on this. I don't know why I didn't pick up on this and just thought it was a general Celica quote. I don't know why I didn't pick up on this. I don't know why I didn't pick up on this, but this... from that's where it's from i <laughs> i didn't know that i didn't i didn't know that so when you pick when you pick when you engage with uh celica uh when you engage with celica and uh and, and engage and you and you have to battle quotes that's one of her quotes that, that, that they say and i was like where does that come from and it's the last thing she says to duma and i don't know why it took me so long to like figure that out but i was like when did she say that because i know she says it but it's at the end it's at the very very end it's the last thing she says to him yeah i was like what is what hmm. <laughs> okay can i get a speed please okay thank god okay this is good because it lets me get wait maybe is it time When you tell me that it's bad to invest into souls, it really makes me want to not give this kill to him. Okay, I'm gonna save state. I'm gonna see how much damage or how much uh, yeah, uh, what his stats are gonna do here. Okay. No, let me see a bit. I mean, okay. I mean, okay. But at the same time. Oh, it's not even a bitch. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll do this. Okay, actually not bad. Okay. He's getting there, right? Hey, how much speed do you have? 15? Yeah, he's getting there, yeah, right? He'll get there. Why is Miss already tier two? Okay, well, I thought that I wanted her to be combat ready, but I thought it meant tomes, bitch. It's swords. Nobody told me. I didn't know it was going to be swords because why would you have turbo magic? Why would you have turbo magic? And you're just like, you know what? You know what? Let me see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick up a fucking sword. What are you doing? Like, what, what, like, what, what, what are you doing? What's going on with that? Huh? It's like, I can feel the magic. I, I will pick up a sword, huh? No. She's not serious. Reinhardt coded. <laughs> mm.
Apparently, Lagoos just give a lot of experience points for some reason. Okay, what? Save file, it's red. What does red mean? of the world. So what? Now do I use a Master Seal or what? Or do I have to get to the level 21? happen Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess, I mean, maybe it's not. Weird. Maybe it's not Maniac Mode? Hold on, here's what I'll do. Maybe because Maniac Mode isn't actually in the game. I wonder if that works. Hold on, let me see something. See, look, easy, normal, hard, maniac. You see what I mean here? Open the door and walk away. Never give in to the cold of yesterday. Memories that made those days of me. Is really to start. 
Like, I don't know what to do. Like, should I should I change it back to hard or, or what? Confirm whatever it is you're confirming and let me know. So maybe I can change it back to hard and see if that does anything different. I mean, I don't think this is bad. I mean, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go. Was that all? Give me a minute. Okay, well, in the meantime, I can heal people. Is hard mode too hard? No, it's just that. Oops. It's just that for whatever reason. Um, the boss is not bossing. I mean, maybe he'll start doing it now. Hit me? So what, does he follow me now? What? That's so interesting. Like why I he's so he's so he's so passive. Can you not kill him? Oh, I can. It's just I'm I'm very curious. Like is is this a This will confirm if uh if my uh, difficulty setting is exactly what I'm wanting it to be and not like some sort of placebo. Or, or at least that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, because he's just fucking standing there, dude. Like, it's so weird. Like, he just doesn't want to attack me. Can my units even go over here? What? Okay. So it works on my American version. Maybe you should change it to get what? Change the difficulty through actual code instead of the debug menu. Because that's what I did. Okay. As the wind of my thoughts. Somewhere here it is. Okay. Alright. 
Okay, now let me check something real quick. Let me let me input it, and then we'll see if that makes any difference. Go ahead and get the cheats. Go ahead and do maniac. States, refresh, and reset. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we'll see what happens. Next chapter. This chapter? No, but I'll just let her get the kill so we can just move on. That's such a that's such a sad death quote. That's such a sad death quote. I feel bad. Oh my god, I feel awful. I've lost everything. I'm sorry. No, I feel bad. I've lost everything. Is a terrible way to go out. Oh my god. Woo. Oh, oops, I forgot. The smuggling slaves. Oh yeah, oops, my bad. Forgot about that part. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I forgot. The Grail Mercenaries have returned. Well done. The news of your victory is welcome as the cargo you seize. Now about your payment. Wait, this mysterious cargo was a bunch of really heavy crates. Would you tell me what they contained? That? Your job was to deliver the cargo. You've no need to investigate further. But Princess Alencia has returned to her quarters. You would do well to inform her of your safe return. It appears that the Apostle will handle your payment on the morrow. Perhaps you can speak to her then. I beg your leave. I must be going. Very well. Okay, wait. Is this the king? Thing. Look at fucking look at the bird on the right. It's just <laughs> that's a bird. <laughs> that's an actual bird. <laughs> Thank you all for coming, my fellow Lagoos Kings. It has been decades since all of us were gathered in the same in the same place. <clears throat> I would extend my gratitude to King. Oh, here we go. Uh Degensi? 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 Degensi of Gudra, who arranged this meeting. 
place at a such short notice. It was nothing, King Canigus. Fellow kings and countrymen, attend my attend to my words. As you have no doubt heard, Dayan has invaded Cream Cheese and overrun her. Of course, Cream Cheese is a Bjork nation. However, since the time of her founding, she has made every effort to engage the Lagoos with honor and dignity. Never has there been has this been more true than during the 30-year reign of the good king, Ramon. During this era, Galia and Cream Cheese initiated many ambitious cultural projects in an attempt to bring our divided people closer. Yet one man has always reveled our work, the Dayan King, Ashnard. Why he took this recent course, however, I do not know. I know not. Ashnard's actions are monstrous. His army has put much of Cream Cheese to the sword. Her people live in terror. Her king lies dead. And now, the Dayan forces continue their ruinous march and across the border into Lagoo's territory, into Galia. That trespass, O King of Lions, is because your country chooses to harbor King Cream Cheese's orphan, is it not? Yes, that is the justification they would present. But the Princess of Cream Cheese is no longer in Galia, is she? Your spies are as efficient as ever, King Tibarn of Phoenixes. As you say, the princess has already departed for Bunyan. I know this only because she came to the aid of a ship carrying Bunyan's apostle. Ugh, so Princess Valencia is safe and in contact with the Bunyan Empire. That news gladdens my heavy heart. Do not believe that Dane has yet I do not believe Dane has yet has this information. If word got out that the Princess of Cream Cheese has been granted sanctuary in Bunyan, Dayan might halt its invaders of Galia. Your information is dated, Hawk King. Have your legendary eyes and ears abandoned you after all these years? You have something you wish to say? Would you be so kind as to explain yourself, King Kilvis? Princess Alencia barely escaped cream cheese with her life and then fled to Galia. And yet, a certain king of beasts there, one who, one on whom she pinned all hope, chose not to support her. With nowhere else to turn, the princess and her red... red, red, red Retu oh, that's a new word. Retu Retinue? Retinue? That's a new word. What is that? Okay. Yeah, what the hell is this? Retinue. Retinue. A group of advisors, assistants, or others accompanying an important person. Ret. Okay, retinue. Retinue. Okay, retinue. Okay, interesting. That's a new word for me. Anyway. Uh, the princess in a retinue spent two long months at sea, arriving in Bunyan mere days ago. Dayan knows of these events as well, and the king has dispatched a team of hunters to make a corpse of the girl. And that, dear kings, is the latest news, at least to the best of my poor knowledge. Dayan knows that the princess in Bunyan, King Kilvas, how did you come to possess this information? Why, there's no trick to it. I just perk up my ears and point them in the right direction. You expect us to believe that a stray wind carried it to your ears. This is an odd tale. Nesawa. Oh, do you think so? Well, there's one trick to information gathering that I know. Shall I share it with you? If it involves dealing with human scum, I'll pass. Forgoing my Lagoo's pride is not something I'm willing to do. Hmm. Is that not always the way of the Phoenixes, to cling to those tattered remnants of pride? Instead of proclaiming that you will attack none but Bunyan ships, just admit that you don't have the power to do more. What did you say? Both of you will assist at once. King Nasala of Kilbas, your actions of late can indeed be judged as too extreme. Black King of Gudra. <clears throat> Black Dragon King of Gudra. What do you pretend to know of my actions? Please enlighten me. I will remind you of the Bjork ship you attacked and Phoenix... Ca Phoenicasian waters and left stranded in Gudra territory. Oh, that... Nesala, you lying crow. You've been sneaking about in my territory again, have you? I've heard from my own son, Karthnaga, that a Bjork resembling Princess Cream Cheese was on board that ship. It is true. What? King Calvis, you... Don't act surprised. I have no intention of ruling over some tiny island nation forever. I'll make Kilbes the name to remember. To that end, no amount of gold is enough. Lagoos or Bjork, I care not. If the pay is right, there is nothing I won't do. I care not about the reach of your ambition, but you should choose your methods with more care. What good 
will it do if you expand your domain only to find enemies at your every border? I will take your words to heart for the time being. And you too, King Phoenix. I still don't know how to say it, but... <clears throat> what good will your piracy do you if it earns you the wrath of Bunyan? Continue at this pace, and there's, there's no end to the... There's no telling when the hostilities will end. Until the people of Bunyan apologize for the slaughter of our brother Herons, I will do no such thing. Prince Rayson of S the S Serene's? Are you of the same mind? Those human burned Serene's floors and killed my people. No amount of human blood can stake my thirst for vengeance. For my siblings, for my countrymen, I demand justice. I cannot even return my bedridden father to our forest home. I am no soldier. I know nothing of war. So King Phoenix is axed in my stead. I am most grateful to him. And I would not see him stop until Bunyan has paid. I can see why this is two games, because this is kind of a lot. Blood only leads to violence, and violence begets violence, nothing more. Revenge is simply another name for murder. And you, King of Lions, what will you do about your home of Galia? Now that you know of Dayan's feint towards Galia is more, uh, merely another move in this game of war, how will you act? They've made no formal declaration of war. Until they do, we watch and wait. If it is the first step towards eradicating all human scum, Phoenixes will help you destroy Dayan. No. Unless becomes, this becomes a true war among all nations, I want you to stay your hand. As long as Galia is protected by the Sea of Trees, we can stave off Dayan's attacks. Oh, the luxury of a large nation. You would waste a chance to expand your territory just to maintain the status quo. Sad. I agree with King Galia. If we were to form a Laguz alliance against Dayan, we would drive Bunyan to Dayan's side and lose a valuable ally. The flames of war cannot be fanned haphazardly. Above all, we must think of Leyron's medallion. Its location is unknown. This is what I don't like about ambitious king people like this. Is that like, it just seems so unrealistic to me, but maybe not. And that like, isn't it kind of fucking stupid that like you're representing a nation filled with fucking like millions of people like countless people like babies and children and 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 elderly and just all kinds of different people disabled high low class whatever like you're the person who represents all people it, isn't it kind of crazy that like you want to do all these ambitious things that will cost the lives of like however many people i think that's insane I think that's fucking crazy. Like, the idea of that is just insane. But anyway, um, I guess <laughs> I don't know how you can be. You can have you can have the lives of so many people that aren't even involved in all this stuff in your fingertips, and just be so reckless with it. One, I don't even know how you would handle that responsibility. First of all. And two, it's like, have you no shame? You know, I think about world leaders like that, who do that, who go to war and do all these things. And I'm like, are, are you for real? <laughs> like, come on. Anyway, uh, the flames of war cannot f be fanned haphazardly. Oh yeah, the location of the medallion is unknown, but it still exists, we know this. And as long as it does, we cannot allow any war that could stand to engulf all of our nations. Do you understand, Lagoose Kings? I beg of you, do not forget it. Okay, so... Let's see what color this is. It's still red. Okay, let me get to the next chapter. Because I actually have to stop now. I have to gather up clothes, too, so I can wash them. But... The Pharaoh Frontier. Oh, we're on chapter 15. Oops. Oh my, if it isn't Prin... Yeah, young Prince Serene. Serene's. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nalucci. You're looking well. And feeling well, too. Thank you very much. This old crow is as spry as ever. Tell me, though. How fares your father? King Lorazze? Same as ever. Since that terrible day, he remains abed. He seldom rises anymore. 
Hmm, I'm not surprised. In a span of a few days, he lost his family, his friends, and almost all of his countrymen. Yes. And yet, we're blessed that you are still with us. Prince Rayson, if there's anything this doddering, doddering old bird can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you, I appreciate your kind, your kind sentiment. Sorry to keep you waiting, Rayson. Nialuchi, you can talk ancient history later. Leave us at once. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sure you have much to talk about, much to say. I'll just take my leave of you. Please, Prince Rayson, make yourself at home. <laughs> oh, Nialuchi's always been fond of house. S Serenez? I'm just gonna go Serene. <clears throat> when he heard of the white prince himself, was gracefully brace, was bracing up with a. Hello? When he heard that the pr white prince himself was gracing us with his visit, he could barely contain his joy. So, prince, what's all this about? We haven't seen your face around here in a long time. And I'm naturally quite curious as to your intentions. Your attitude during Udra's meeting piqued my interest. What is it you're after, Nisala? Why do you provoke Tibarn? You came all this way for that. Are you serious? Do not mock me, Crow King. Tibarn is my father's guardian. If not for him, we might have suffered the end of House Syrians itself. I will not brook any insults to him. Oh, I see. So rather than ally yourself with me, your trusted companion of old, you would side with his new protector? That is an unfortunate shift in attitude. I trust you remember that when you and your sister were young, it was I, not Tibarn, who watched over you. Any change in my bearing can be laid at your roots, Nisala. After all, you, my old friend, are the one who continues to engage in commerce with my enemy, with humans. If you were to change your ways, I'm sure we could rebuild the relationship to the two of us once shared. Oh no, that I could never do. You see, humans are essential to the fulfillment of my ambitions. You've changed, Nisala. If this, path, if this is the path you've chosen, I have nothing left to say. I doubt you could ever understand what it means to guard Kilvis, Prince, to protect an entire country. King Nasala, Duke Tanis of Bunyan, Imperial Senate, has arrived. Bring him in. Your Majesty, just now I brushed against the most splendid specimen. Was that a, Serenis, a Serene's noble? They're supposed to be extinct. And what if it were? Oh, right, wonderful. My eyes did not deceive me. Those dazzling white wings, that shimmering hair sparkling with, like, falling gold dust. That is the crystallization of beauty in its purest form. Duke Oliver, can we please discuss the visits at hand? Per your request, we have appropriated several pieces of art from the ships of Duke Gatos. Yes, yes, and you will be compensated as promised. But right now, there is something else I simply must have. Really, another request. What can we purloin you today? More art, perhaps? Oh, something more stunning. And if you agree to my proposition, I will double your fee. That is the most generous offer. Tell me, what is your desire? Desire? But surely you must have already guessed. Uh-oh. How come I've never seen anyone plus, t uh, plus 10 Oliver? And Heroes, I haven't seen anyone do it yet. Meeting with the Apostle was fine. But all she did was pay us and give us another job. She answered no questions. Hmm. I've seen Plus and Oliver before. Was he just have high rise, high HP, and that's it? I wonder <clears throat> what she's planning. That cargo. I can't help but believe that there were living creatures inside, but... What do you suppose the Apostle intends to do with them? I don't know, Titania. Are all nobles and royals like this? They have plans and paperwork for every little thing, and their speech is as confusing as it is tedious. But I, the other nobles we know are different. There's Princess Alencia and King Galia, and a dragon prince too. All of them have been so nice and friendly and easy to talk to. Perhaps the rudeness of the upper echelon is unique to the Bjork's class system. Okay, you know something about Mist? I actually kind of like her. Mist, Mist has constantly had a perspective of others. Like, she, she's, she looks at things from multiple perspectives, and she always gives that sort of input, and I think it's really nice. Like, this is like the fourth time where she's been like, well, here's a different POV, or here's a different POV. She's actually kind of nice. I actually like her a lot. But anyway, Princess Alencia was raised in special circumstances. Maybe that's why she's so different. 
I can never get accustomed to the culture of Bjork novels. I came here to report the results. Let's see. No bonus EXP. Rolf. Malico. M Malico. He's garbage. All right. Um. Support. Still can't do Soren. Serpent. <clears throat> You're from the Northwest nation of cream cheese, are you not? You have my condolences for the terrible misfortune that has befallen your country and people. Yet you remain blessed. Fate has brought you here to the Grand Temple of Mainal, to the splendor of Bunyan, grandest of all nations of Tellius. By the way, I hear you are traveling north to the Grand Desert. There are ancient ruins there, you know. They are remnants of a race known as the Zun Zunamana? Z Zunanma? Zunanma? Who come from a civilization that predates our own. I'm sure you will enjoy the sensation of being immersed in such primordial surroundings. Um, yeah, it'll be a real picnic. I oh, guess picnics are nice indeed. Oh, but a word of caution. Setting the ruins from afar is one thing, but if you, you would be well to well advised to keep your distance, for safety's sake. It is said that there is a bandit stronghold near the northwest ruins, and we hear occasional reports of strange figures walking the dunes and the northeast. Be careful. How are preparations go, uh, progressing? They're underway. We leave within the hour. Your next mission takes you to the Grand Desert. You must choose your companions with care. It, a desert is just a large patch of sandy soil, is it not? Hmm, <laughs> there's one major difference. Unlike sandy soil, you will not find solid earth near the surface. You could dig and dig and find only more sand. Those on foot and horseback may find it difficult to move around. I see. I'm sure Soren knows that mu so as much about these things, but has something befallen Master Soren? I don't know if he's feeling ill or just moping about. It all started when we arrived in Bunyan. Oh, be that as it may, it won't hurt for me to have this information. Can you tell me more? Of course, there is little water in the desert, and the soil is very dry. Few trees or grasses grow there, which means there are no groves or anything that could provide cover. And as I mentioned before, those on foot and horseback will find the sand slows their pace considerably. The exceptions are magic users, staff wielders, and thieves. Such people would not be affected to so large a degree. That's such a good change. These are agile, so I understand why they're unaffected, but those skilled in magic? That doesn't make sense. I once heard an explanation from a magic user that I know. He claimed that the spirits he employed flew before him and cleared the sand from his path. However, considering the source, I'm not sure how much of that is truth. Who's that source? Prime Minister Sephiroth. Would he play a joke like that? Hmm. <laughs> well, the Prime Minister is a very amusing man, but please, allow me to continue my explanation. What else? Others who are unaffected are Pegasus Knights, Wyvern Riders, and other units. Oh, and Lagoos, too. Terrain features don't seem to affect them <clears throat> in either form, although they will be slowed some. Hmm. You said Lagoos, didn't you? Everyone here says subhuman. Well, of course, Bjork and Lagoos are living things. Every precious life was created equal by the blessed goddess. The fact that those there are still those who persecute Lagoos in the land of the goddess is deplorable. Are you of a noble house? Yes, I am. One must be of noble birth to serve the goddess. But I thought that all the nobles were half-crazed fools who can't speak the truth. You seem quite honest. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. Oh, and one last thing. What is it? The desert contains remnants of more than one lost civilization. Rumor has it that treasure from those times still lie beneath the shifting sands. Those with good luck may come across such treasures in battle. Okay. Ooh wee. Actually, do I care? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I'm over it. All right. All right, Vantage. Roar? What is this? Immobilize this enemy on the next turn. Does not work against certain units. Allows unit to attack first in all fights. This seems like a really good... Huh.
In certain instances, mobilizes an enemy after. Okay. Oh, so is it only promoted units that get that? Soul, huh? In certain conditions, restores as many HP as damage to the enemy. That's for Valkyrie? That sounds awful. <laughs> Ew. I'll see what happens in the future. Oh, is it time? You said you only get four master seals, right? What are the scenarios in which you would use them? Because this seems like one of them where I would use one. Like I'll hold 95 of my bonus experience points. Oh, okay. How many master seals do you get? Because is this is the time. Like, should I use it now? Or should I just give them the experience points? And I'm, I'm on chapter 15. EXP, okay. Uh oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me see it. Let me see it. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Alright, alright, okay, here we go. Alright, we're good. Let me see a girl. You know what? And look at him go. Look at him grow up. Look at him. Oh, look at him go. See? Oh, he's not a grown ass man. Oh, look at him go. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Oh, look at him go. I was expecting a chance to music. <laughs> he's okay. Wait a minute. Wait. 18 skill, 17 speed, 16 strength, 12 defense, 7 res. I mean, the, re the res is kind of unfortunate. That's not Rolf, that's Wolf. Okay, wait. Dead Eye Rolf? I mean, he doesn't have any abilities right now. What is this? Doubles chance to hit in certain instances and puts enemies to s Whoa. Puts enemies to sleep? What the fuck is that? That's kind of good, right? A tranquilizer dart? So is this like a skill that I activate or, or is this by chance? This is awesome. Th that means a couple of things. Maybe I can actually use that longbow now. It's a trigger skill, like Soul and Luna. Skill percent. I mean, his skill is kind of high, actually. And speaking of which, I got some things I needed to do. So hold on. Let me go ahead and let me do. Let me do the things. Oops. 
Okay, so the one thing I really, 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 really need to do is give uh, the long sword that I have, uh, or the long bow, and give it to Rolf. I almost called him Wolf. Um, okay, you don't need all these. So let me see. Let me go ahead and take... Can I use the longbow now? Yes, I can. Okay, wonderful. Okay. So I will keep the Laguz bow, I guess. Rolf's bow, I can get rid of it. It's fine. Oop. Okay, he's kind of doing it now. Yeah. Laguz bow, killer bow, and a... Forge bow. Okay, that's good. Um, and I definitely need to give these secret books to Boy D real quick. So let me go ahead and do that. Or at least one of them. Yeah, he needs to skill really, really badly, actually. And then I'll focus on getting him up to, uh, to 20. Uh, let's see. What's next? Uh, what other ones do I have? So I'm on chapter 15, which means... Should I start using Ike now? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so Spirit Dust, Master Seal. Let me see if I have anything else. Kind of sitting around. Should I probably could give her something uh, better too. Honestly, now I think about it. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. Um. Yeah. These stat ups. Okay. So I have. Let me check and see what everyone's skill is at. Skill. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Good enough. This is fine. This is fine. Ike will get more. I'm not using him. It's just... Well, Mordecai seems, tends to not have issues with hit rates. Because, like, let me check his claw. 90 hit? Yeah, okay. And that's the only thing he can use, right? So if he's using a 90 hit weapon, and it gets even more skill when he transforms, it just seems I have to use the other one on, on Boy D, right? So it, so it will get more Broom, but it doesn't matter because he's going to get more skill, and he uses Lances. Yeah, it just seems like the logical choice, because he's using Axes, and Axes are so fucking inaccurate, it's terrible. So yeah, I guess he does get it. And plus, Axes have, tend to have higher crit anyway, so the more... Uh, the more skill I have on him, the better. Um, and there's the energy drop. That's another thing I have to keep in mind, too. So let me take a look. Who's having strength issues? Uh, definitely not Rolf. Uh, Marcia. Killer Axe on board, it's a Tanya. Yeah, 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 the one I just got. It's not a bad idea, should do that. Um, honestly, I'm kind of thinking about putting the energy droplet on Ike, low-key. What did you think of Malakov, or Mala, Malaklov, or whatever? I don't like him. He's trash. Okay, I'm, I'm good. He, we can move on. Um... Makalov? Bro, I'm not saying that. <laughs> We're done. Um, Alright, I'll give this to Ike and I'll call it a day. And the Spirit Dust? Are there going to be any mages that I'm going to get?
You get one? Okay. I get three more mages. Would you consider me in late game yet? Or is this still mid game? Because in, around engage, this is like the latest part of mid game. I think once I hit maybe like 16 or 17, that'll probably be late game, right? Mid? Okay. The game is long? Okay. So if that's the case, hmm. Nobody else really needs magic except Mist, who doesn't fucking care about it, and uh, and Soren, right? I guess I'll wait. I'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, anything else that needs to be done? Now that Boydy has 15 skill, he's definitely gonna be so much more useful. But what I probably should do is. Give him the killer axe that I just got. Lagoo's axe doesn't sound too bad either. In fact, I'll give... stuff steel bows dagger what is dagger is that just better oh thank god finally oh oh yes oh thank god yes oh and i got an l fire oh, i already got one okay cool wait here you go there you go nice okay an l fire and light Light is for Reese. Oh, okay. Okay, what the shop got? Mend? Oh, thank God, yes. Okay. Miss, where you at? Take it. Is Restore going to be more useful because there's more status effects in this game? Mayhaps. I guess I really need these little stones, huh? Do I sell these, by the way? These gold, these coins? <laughs> they do something there i figure because it's like why would you, you that's a little that's a little like usually when you have something that's like useless like that it's not useless there's something to it okay oh let me see if i can forward something good here the game so far oh I'm loving it I'm having a great time I really like the units in this game 
I love the art a lot, and I like many of these units, but there are some that, like, I don't know. It feels so bad. Like, I feel, like, to hear here, like, I feel like he's just useless. Like, he's just, what's the point? Like, Mia, what was the point? You know what I mean? It's unfortunate. But I guess it's just, if you just use units you like, it doesn't matter, right? Um, where is she at? Asher, there you are. Okay, um, what else is next? What else do I have to forge? I can forge a slim sword, but who cares? A steel sword. Is there anything else that I really need? I guess I could make another Chloe. To be honest, I really, really, really want Boydy to succeed, so I gotta make sure I get a, I gotta get him a good uh, axe because he's um, he's a little bit behind, and I gotta facilitate him as much as possible if I want him to grow to be big and strong. So that is so cheap. What? Excuse me, that is so cheap. What? What? What is that? That is so cheap. What? That is so cheap. A fully upgraded... What? 30 hit plus 5 might. For 2,500? What? And the prices? I'm sorry, what's going on? Why is this so cheap, dude? That is amazingly cheap. Okay, well, the expense is in the, what? The expense is in the crit for some reason, but why would I use crit? That sounds terrible. It's not a killer weapon. It's never gonna reach the south of a killer weapon, so what's the point? This is insane. What is going on? Good will Oh wait, can I put a space there? Oh my god I can, yes. It's exponential. Oh okay. Goodwill Axe. Wow, that's insane. Okay, so let me go ahead and give... I'm kind of excited to play tomorrow. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. I'm so excited to use this axe. Wait, I'm so excited for this. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, I'm so excited to use this. What? Oh, how exciting. Okay. All right, hold on, let me see. Anything else I wanna do before I leave? Um. Seventy six, half of seventy six is thirty eight.
Wait, what? Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. She's serious. I don't know, y'all. I mean... I Well, I better get a strength here. If I don't, I'm gonna be really sad. I don't think I do, actually. Actually, no, I do. I do get a strength. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. Next up, I get one. Oh my god. I guess I don't. Ugh. get there he'll 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 get there i guess mm. <laughs> he'll he'll something will happen he will get there <clears throat> mm. i'm so excited okay so my uh it's sad. so okay rolf can sit down now i think rolf is pretty much like all right if i'm gonna need him to kill a flying anything they're dead he's got a long sword now so now he can provide ship damage i think he is perfectly like he is good to go right so no more rolf so my next thing will be okay let's get astrid up to snuff right i still gotta get level b swords on uh on mist here so i'm really gonna try to get c and then just give her a weapon scroll and call it a day right or an arm scroll and call it a day i also need to get ike up to 20 so that's gonna happen soon um so i'll leave some bonus experience in reserve for him um Anything else I really want to do? Uh, let's see. See if I can get Broom up as well. Because he's kind of lagging behind a little bit. Soren, I actually think he is perfectly acceptable. I think anytime I need Soren to kill an armor unit, he will absolutely do it for free. Um, every single time. So this is this seems perfectly fine. I don't really need to work on him at all. Um, plus, he's getting access to stronger, stronger magic. But at the same time, though, I do need to make sure I'm using uh, tomes more often on him because getting this weapon level up is kind of a deal. Um, but at the same time, though, fire magic seems kind of like worthless in the sense of like you would just use thunder because it's stronger anyway. But I guess it is effective against something. So I guess we'll see. Um, all right, uh, I think I am good to stop now then. Okay, so I'm gonna be back tomorrow, uh, around this time, hopefully, in these next 24 hours. I got a lot of things to do, I got a lot of gardening to do. I gotta go to the nursery tomorrow to get my blueberry. Hopefully, it, I should have fucking uh, reserved it because somebody would have taken it or taken it. Oh, they may have taken the last blueberry. If they did, I'm going to be so sad because blueberries take two fucking years. Two years! Two years! Until they bear fruit, so I got to make sure I get it in, like, ASAP. And I got to get uh, acidic soil for it, too, because that's why you need to put blueberries in their own little container because the pH that the soil needs to be for uh, blueberries to thrive is really low. Uh, so any other plants that you put with them aren't going to really do that well except maybe like azaleas or something so i need to make sure that i get uh blueberry specific acidic soil um get that blueberry plant tomorrow plant my rosemary um and prune my tomatoes and take pictures so i can show everybody oh um i meant to ask like if i'm out there just doing gardening stuff I don't know how I would stream it, but would you guys like like a literal like 30 minute stream, 45 minute stream of me just doing gardening stuff? I don't know how I would do it because I've never streamed from my phone before, but I think it'd be kind of fun. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of fun. I wouldn't mind um, if you guys would watch. Like that'd be cool. So I can show you what we got going on. But okay, uh, I love you, and I'll see you literally tomorrow. Okay, and if I don't see you tomorrow, then I'll see you uh, Monday. Okay. So I love you all. Thanks for joining me for like two hours. All right. Bye, y'all.